Do you like puppies? Cuddly little puppies? Hi kids! Who doesn't like a cuddly little puppy? They are about the cutest, sweetest little things on this earth, aren't they? Our verse is Psalm 23, 4. It says, I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. We don't have to be afraid of bad things because God sends his angels to take care of us. Oh, that's so wonderful to have God's protection. And God is strong. He's stronger than anything or anyone. Well, we were living in Korea in the late 1950s and the 60s, and Mrs. Grace Ru came to my mom. She, Grace and my mom were really good friends. And she said, would you like a puppy? Susie had a puppy. Susie! You know the stories of faithful Susie? Well, she went clear through the war and she didn't get killed. That was a miracle. She went clear through the war. You've seen the other ones on Susie, haven't you? How Susie picked up the food from the rock and carried it to the hills. And she heard the soldiers coming in the cave. She heard them marching. And you've heard those stories. Well, this is another faithful Susie story. Would you like a puppy? Susie had puppies. Mrs. Ru told my mom. My mom thought, she thought, the kids would sure like puppies. And so she asked us kids, would you like a puppy? Susie had puppies. Susie had puppies? Yes. We want one. We're supposed to go to her house and choose. There are three puppies and we can choose which one we want. Oh, that was so much fun. Us kids were jumping up and down screaming, I want a puppy, I want a puppy. And so that's just what we did. We went to Mrs. Rue's house in the evening, and oh, all the puppies were so cute. We wanted all of them. Of course, I have two younger brothers and me. That was three, and there were just three puppies, one for each of us. We thought that was just perfect. But my mom and my dad didn't think that was perfect. They thought three dogs is way too much, but they said we could have one. So we looked at this one and looked at this one and this one played. We cuddled them and hugged them and squeezed them like you do little puppies, you know. They're just too cute. And we finally picked out one. And we carried it all the way home. We were so excited. We showed Daddy. And so we had a puppy from Susie, Susie's puppy. We got a, a little girl puppy, a female. And my mom and dad said, well, what are you going to name it? What are we going to name our puppy? That's always a big decision because you want a really nice name. So we were thinking and thinking. And what about Mary? What about Dorothy? What about, no, none of those names would work. And my dad said, why don't you call her Tippy? We said, Tippy? She said, yeah, look at her tail. She had a black tail. Very black tail on the end. That much was white. Just a tip of white. And he said, Tippy. And you know what? That was her name. It just settled. Tippy. So we called her Tippy. So we had all kinds of fun with her. Tippy would run with us across the compound. Run and run and run and play. But I don't know why, but Tippy especially liked my dad. Just loved my dad. It almost it was like she would get down and bow to my dad. She loved my dad so much. And the mission office was down the hill from our house. And she would go down the hill, and she would sit out the, outside of the mission and wait for my dad. And when my dad came out, she was so excited, she would like bow like this and sneeze. She would, achoo, achoo. She would just bow to my dad. 
And then she'd walk with my dad. She'd run around my dad and walk with my dad all the way up to the house. Sometimes my dad would get out from a late committee meeting. It would be late and it would be dark. And the wind would be blowing. And, but there was Tippy waiting for my dad. And Tippy would bow to my dad and sneeze and love my dad. would run around in circles and walk with my dad all the way up the hill around the bend to our house. And if Tippy heard some noises, she would stop instantly and start growling. <coughs> like, you don't dare to come close to us. Or my master, I'll have your neck. So she protected my daddy. And so that made her even more dear to us because she was going to be loyal to us no matter what. Well, Tippy usually slept in the garage, but sometimes our mom would bring her into the house. My daddy was gone. He would travel, take a train, travel way down to Tegu or Pusan and hold meetings. He held meetings all over Korea because he was a preacher. And he would hold meetings and preach. And he'd be gone for one week, sometimes two weeks, sometimes three weeks, sometimes four weeks if he had different meetings. Well, one evening, we were in our house, and my mom was walking around. My mom had a very sensitive nose. She could smell things. And all of a sudden, she said, What's that? I smell something. I smell tobacco. Well, that was a strange smell, because no one ever smoked in our house. My mom saw it. I smell tobacco. Well, you know what? Before she smelled it, Tippy smelled it. Because when my dad was gone, my mom liked Tippy to sleep in the house with us to protect us. Tippy ran over to the front window and she just would smell and then she just growl and just growl at the front room window. And I remember very clearly I would be looking at Tippy. Does she smell someone outside the house? Are they going to break in? And she would growl and my mom my mom said, I smell tobacco, and then I, yeah, I could smell it too. Just a little whiff once in a while. And then we saw Tippy go to the window next to it. And she'd go to the next one, that window, and she'd growl. <laughs> and did you know what? We just watched Tippy. After a little while, Tippy went to the next window and growled. And then she went to the dining room window. The dining room was at the other end of the living room. And she growled there. And then she went to the back, into the through the kitchen, into the back door, and she stood at the back door and growled. Brrr. You know what? I know there was someone sneaking around our house, and they wanted to break in and steal, and maybe hurt us. But Tippy wouldn't let them. They heard Tippy, and they thought, oh, I don't want to fight a dog, it might hurt me. That's what they were thinking. And after we went to the back door, and Tippy sat there for a long time growling at the back door from inside, just growling like, I just dare you, open that door. That was so nice that Tippy protected us. I felt really safe. You know, God sends his angels to protect us, but he also uses people and dogs. And that night, God used Tippy to protect us. And you know what? We love Tippy even more. Yes, we did. And finally it was time to go to bed, and my mommy gathered us together, and the tobacco smoke was gone. And my mommy had worship with us children, and tucked us into bed. We prayed. And you know, I knelt down by my bed. I always prayed. I said, Lord Jesus, please put a wall of angels around our house and put a wall of angels around Munson's house, and put a wall of angels around our compound. Yeah, a whole camp with a big wall. I always prayed that. And you know, I was able to climb in bed, I went to bed, I slept peacefully, I had a good sleep, I didn't worry, and in the morning, I woke up, and we were just fine. Just fine. That is the story of Tippy who was Susie's daughter. We thought it was really special to have Tippy because her mom was so famous. I grew up with that story of her going and picking up the food 
And she saved her life, and she saved Kenneth's life. Because she went and got the food, because Kenneth couldn't get the food. That's Faithful Susie, the first story. If you haven't seen that, you need to be sure and watch it. Thank you so much for coming by. I have lots more stories. So tune in. I put a new one up every Friday. I want to pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for giving us our pets. And Lord, sometimes they protect us like Tippy. Thank you so much. We love you with all of our hearts. For Jesus' sake, amen. Thank you so much for coming by. And I'll talk to you next Friday. Bye! Bye, Auntie Mala. Bye, Auntie Mala. <laughs>